Hi, this is Paul. One of the first projects you'll submit is an Excel spreadsheet of last year's SLO data. The bulk of our work will concentrate on the statistical analysis of the test scores, but it's also important to have a spreadsheet that is easy to read. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the formatting tools in Excel. And some of these formatting tools are similar to those you'll find in Microsoft Word. So what I have here is an Excel spreadsheet of my SLO data from 2012 and 2013. As you can see, I have some column headings that utilize different cell sizes, has some shaded cells, and some borders. But what I'm going to do today in this video is I'm going to show you how to use some of the formatting tools under the Home tab using some of the font and alignment options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate these column headings over here on the right-hand side. So first, that pretest SLO column heading. So I'll click in that cell, and I'll type in the heading, and hit return. And if you notice, that text right now sits in that one single cell. And over here, I've got that text actually taking the space of six total cells. And here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to click, hold, and drag so it takes up those six cells. And I've got six cells selected. And up here under the alignment section under the Home tab, you'll see a spot that says Merge and Center. So if I click on that, what it's done is it's taken those six cells and merged them together to make one single cell. Now let's take a look at some of the options for the alignment. Right now, the text is actually sitting at the bottom of the actual cell. And that's where you can see it says Bottom Line. So I can go up here to the alignment um, tools of the Home tab. If I click middle align, it'll put it in the middle. If I hit top align, it'll go to the top of the cell. I would prefer it to be in the middle, so I'll click it there. Um, I also have options to go ahead and have it left justified, right justified, or where I prefer it, which is middle. So there is that pretest SLO heading, um, one single cell that actually takes up the space of six. So now let's talk about putting maybe a border around it and some color. So first I'll click on that cell again. And if I go up here, you'll see where it's under the font section. I can go ahead and choose different colors for the fill. Um, you've got different colors that are in this area here, and you actually get an idea what they look like. Or you can go to the More Colors, click on that, and I'm just going to pick that same yellow that I was using and say OK. So now I've got a cell that is six cells in size, and now I want to put a border around it. So I'm going to click that cell again. And if you go up here again to that section where it has the fonts, I'm going to go ahead and click on that down arrow. And you've got all kinds of choices for the borders. And I'm going to pick the thick box border. And now if I click another spot in the Excel spreadsheet, you can see I have this one cell that takes up the space of what was six. And it's yellow colored with that border around the whole, the whole cell. Now let's do the same thing for these lower, the second row of the, of the columns in my SLO data sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that cell and type in the raw score heading and hit return. And again, I want to go ahead and merge these two cells into one. So I'll click and hold and shade in or select both of those cells. And then I'll go to merge and center. And what it's done is taken those two cells again and made them to one. Now, if you notice, when I click someplace else, it's centered it and you can't see the R and the raw or the E and the score. What I'd like to do is maybe have those two words stack on top of each other. So I'll go back and click on that cell. And up here above the Merge and Center option is a wrap text. And if I select that, it now wraps the text so that it actually fills that cell very nicely. I'm going to do the same thing for these next two sections on the spreadsheet. So percent score return. I'll merge them. Pick the wrap text. And the same thing over here, 50% SED growth, hit return, select those two cells, again merge them and wrap the text. And so now they fit nicely into those column headings. And now I'll just go ahead and select all of them and choose that same yellow color. And then the last thing is to go ahead and put the borders around each one. So I'll click that cell. And the nice thing about this is it actually remembers your last color scheme or your last border. So I can just go ahead and click right on there and it gives me that thick box border. Again, 
thick box border, and that last one there. Um, I think you probably know about changing fonts and font sizes. Those are the similar to what you'd see in Word, and they're all contained up in here. And of course, you can underline, use italics or bold. Um, there's all your different font uh, or font types and the font sizes. The uh, last thing I'll say is this. Um, it may be a time where you want to get rid of this merge cells and it's just reverse what you did. So I'll click on the actual cell and do the down drop arrow on there and just say unmerge cells and it'll be back to what you had. So now I actually have six different cells again like I originally had. So I'm going to go ahead and just undo that for a second. And so there it is. Um, there's some options that you have using the fonts and the alignment options to make some headings for your SLO data sheet in Excel that might make it a little easier for someone to read. Thank you very much.